Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. That's certainly a big winter storm out there in the northern plains. For us, that storm system is going to be bringing us some rain, and we're already starting to see some of those showers arriving here in the Susquehanna Valley now this early afternoon. Live look from our Lebanon sky cam. It's dry, a little hazy. Definitely pretty cloudy here in Lebanon, and as far as temperatures go, it's actually one of the cooler numbers that we have on the map. 53 degrees with the latest check on the numbers here in Lebanon. Uh, we do have other locations already tipping into the 70s. Gettysburg is at 70 degrees. Lancaster pretty close as well, 68. And really just depends on if you've seen sunshine or not. Lancaster had a period of sunshine here, actually still seeing some uh, sun and high clouds right now. Uh, but farther west, the clouds thicker, and that's showing the cooler temps. We also have some rain to talk about too. In fact, radar picking up a little bit in the way of some of these showers that are passing through from southwest to the northeast. One little shower there just around York City right now. So again, we'll be watching for some of these showers to roll through as we go through the uh, afternoon hours. But it's later this evening that we'll watch for this line of showers and thunderstorms to make its way across the state and eventually into the Susquehanna Valley. Looks like we'll time that out later on into the evening hours, likely after sunset in many spots and rolling through here again through the evening. So mostly cloudy, scattered showers and then a few thunderstorms possible. The thunderstorm chance is more likely later on this evening and into the early parts of tonight. But uh, warm and windy here, 50 to 25 miles per hour for those winds, and that will help to boost those spots that are a little cool right now. It probably Probably into the 60s and some other areas though that are already in the 60s likely in the 70s here later on today. Then it's tonight that we'll watch for that line to work across the Susquehanna Valley. So mostly cloudy skies, some showers and a few thunderstorms and some of those storms could be capable of producing some gusty winds. It doesn't look like a huge uh, threat for severe weather, but it is a possibility with uh, some stronger wind gusts later on into this evening. But it sets the stage for a drier Saturday. We're calling it partly sunny but warm and pleasant too, mid 70s for those high temps. So again, here's that big storm system still dumping some snow here across parts of Minnesota and especially up into Canada. That's where the area of low pressure center is cold front draped all the way down into the deep south. So it's that cold front we'll watch for as we go throughout the rest of today. And again, some showers down to our south. These are going to slide through ahead of the main line as we head into later on this afternoon. Storm Prediction Center saying that some of these storms could get rather robust out here into western parts of the state. A very low risk here for severe weather in our western counties, but still it's slightly above the zero chance of that. So we're going to be watching for the potential again of some gusty winds with that main line as it works through, but there will be some showers out ahead of it like we're seeing right now. And then here comes that line with the heavy rain, possibly some lightning, some thunder and some strong gusty winds as it makes its way through heavy rain certainly as well in pockets before that slides east as we head later on into the evening hours. But it clears off to our east. We get partly sunny skies through the day tomorrow. Actually, may be times of mostly sunny and then our warm front lifts back north here as we go into Sunday. More rain is likely here as you head into your later Sunday afternoon. Predictors indicating uh, just in the rainfall here from later on this afternoon into tomorrow morning, the possibility of some places maybe a couple inches of rain. It just depends on where some of those storms line up. So, of course, we will keep you up to date. But again, start of the weekend looks dry and warm. Then more rain arrives Sunday. It cuts off on Monday morning and dries things out, looks like, for Tuesday with more shower chances on Thursday. So as April typically is here in our area, kind of active. A couple of days, every couple of days we're seeing that storm chance. So a little yeah. unsettled. A little unsettled for <laughs> us, right. for sure. We need a stretch. Yeah, a dry stretch would be <laughs> yeah. nice, wouldn't it? All right. Thank you, Matt.